Oh, hella B, this your boy Big B B, and we back for another edition of Big B Business. In today's video, we are back with a series that has been on my channel off and on for a while, and I decided to bring it back in the mix this summer. So today, we'll be talking about the top five fragrances I'll be looking to purchase this fall or autumn season of 20. Now the last video I did of this man, it talked about the top 5 fragrances I was looking to purchase this summer of 2020. Now that 93 day stretch of summer that we have in here in the US isn't quite over yet, but I think it's fair to start looking forward ahead. But before we do, let's go ahead and recap some of the fragrances that I talked about in the last video. Just like today's video, I listed 5 fragrances that I wanted to pick up this summer and again, these fragrances did not need to be like summer fragrances. They were just things that I was actively pursuing purchasing. Now, I've really picked up all of these fragrances with the exception of one. And seeing that the summer season here isn't quite over yet. I think we go through until September 22nd. I still have some time to get it in the collection this summer. The fragrances I was looking to pick up this summer, some that you are familiar with, we did Toy Boy, and I gave you guys a full review on this one. This one is a really, really nice scent, one that I really enjoy, and I know a lot of you out there hit me up and said you do as well. We also have YSL YO Fresh. Now this one is the latest release within this Flanker series. You have Y, Y E D P, you have uh, Y Live, you have Y O Fresh, and um, <laughs> there you have it. And then also the newest one here, which um, 40 Knots from Zhirjov. This is part of the Join the Club collection. Super nice um, aquatic fragrance with a different feel. Really has this amber feel to it. So I enjoy that one. And then finally, um, we also have uh, Hachivat. Okay, that's what I was supposed to pronounce this one is Hachivat. Um, super nice fragrance. The fifth fragrance that I've needed to pick up this go around um, came from Armani. And this one is Armani Strong With You Free. So I need to get that when I'm actively looking for it. However, I have been unsuccessful in finding it in places that I feel are trustworthy sites as I've stopped there before. So I'll continue to search out that one. And if I find it, or let me phrase that, when I find it and you know become acclimated with that fragrance, I'll be sure to give you guys and girls out there a full review. But enough about that. Let's get down to this with these, these fragrances I'm looking for in this fall season. Now, just like the summer season, these fragrances do not need to be fall fragrances. Again, these are just fragrances that I'm actively seeking to get in my collection this fall. So within that time frame from beginning of fall to the end, the fall hopefully these fragrances will be within the collection now the first fragrance on my list today is really just one that is a twist on a fragrance that we already talked about at least that's what i've been told this fragrance comes from nishani and this one is Karagos. okay so from my understanding this one is a reverse engineering of hachivat and i've been a fan of that one and i would love to really smell this different take on it i think another thing that really stood out to me on this is as we got into more of the um, inclusion and diversity within the fragrance world um, I saw a post that a lot of people commented on and it seemed that this thing has been around for a while as they show Hachibat and they also show Karagos and they talked about them being really active and supportive within the community for a very long time so I figured this is one that I would like to try and I'm looking to get my hands on that one really really soon I know it has pineapple, it has some grapes, it also has some herbal notes, and there's a note of neroli within this fragrance, I believe, as well, but I don't believe it's super strong, just from the things that I've heard about it thus far, so it may still work for me, as you guys know how I feel about neroli notes in general. So I'm looking to check that one out. If you have that one in your collection, if you feel like this is one that I should grab, I would love to know. Let me know if I'm on the right track there. There you have it. The first up is from Nishani. The next fragrance I'm going to be actively seeking to purchase this fall is one that um, I think will be fairly easy for me to pick up. In fact, I know it's going to be fairly easy for me to pick up um, because this one is readily available. And this one comes from Killian. Now, Killian is one of my favorite fragrance houses. However, I've really been slacking on picking up fragrances from them for quite some time now. I do know the Killian plans on releasing two fragrances um, in this fall season. So I don't know the names of those at this moment. So I will just kind of just 
leave that blank. I will pick those up. But the phrase that I'm looking for is going to be rolling in love. And if I can find a picture of the other fragrances, I, I will make sure that I, I post them somewhere. I don't think that that picture is readily available, but someone has sent me a screenshot of it. So if I can get it, I'll, I'll make sure that I put it in the video here. So um, with this man, Rolling in Love is a like a white floral scent, but it's definitely one from my uh, original take on it. Like I was smelling this before it was actually released and it released on my transition to Tennessee and I just have never been able to you know, go back to pick it up in store. However, um, I did enjoy it at that point and I definitely felt like it was one that a lot of people would enjoy when I originally smelled it and it's gotten nothing but rave reviews. Like I said, that one is this white floral fragrance. You have almond, you have milk, you have Irish, you have musk, you have gardenia, and uh, I think also some orange blossom in there as well. And it comes in a red bottle, so therefore <laughs> it needs to be within the collection. So there you have it, man. Um, Rolling in Love from Killian needs to be picked picked up for me this fall. Now this next fragrance brings us to our halfway point on this list and it's actually one of my favorite fragrances from this house that I'm going to mention but you would never know it because I do not have a full bottle within my collection and my decants have run out quite some time ago so therefore I'd never talk about it but this one is definitely a standout fragrance within this house and one that I really enjoy. The house is Creed and the fragrance that I'm talking about can be used as a fall and winter fragrance although it's still very light and this one is Creed's Spice. Spice and Woods. Spice and Wood, in my personal opinion, is a super enjoyable fragrance. You have apple, you have mandarin, you have bergamot, and you also have some clove in this fragrance as well. And it still has that standard creep freshness that comes along with it. This is part of the late exclusive collection, which means um, for us, in very simple terms, it's it's more expensive. And Creed in itself is already an expensive house. I think these fragrances start out at 545 retail, and um, I would say, man, like it might be worth it. From what I recall about the fragrance, it's spicy, it's woody, it's soft, it doesn't have like, it's not like super spicy, but it does have enough spice to it and still has that freshness that comes along with it. I'm a fan of the scent, although again, the decants that I've had of this have run out and I do not have a full bottle, but that is my mission. That is my mission over these uh, next few months to make sure that I get this one in my collection before the winter rolls around because now I'm definitely in a cooler environment these days and I feel like this fragrance was definitely going to work in that fall and winter environment and it's one that I have enjoyed and will continue to enjoy but I just need to enjoy it closer to me and by that I mean within my collection. Now this next fragrance I'm looking for is one that um, is a play on a legendary fragrance. The fragrance was brought to us, the original one was brought to us by Francis Kirk John and that one was by Jean-Paul Gaultier and that one was Lamar. Now Lamar has been a staple fragrance on a lot of people's collections even today um, most people have it if they're fragrance collectors but they're coming out with something that they probably should have come out with years and years and years ago and this one is Le Mans La Parfum okay so we've seen a ton of different variations of Le Mans over the years whether it was Ultramar you had Le Fleur you had the Beau series um, you had just a, just a ton of them man I forgot what the the fresh versions and then obviously we had Aviator as the most recent release and and also the Pride Month one. I forgot what that one was called per se. And that one just might have been like a different bottle. I'm not sure that they really even did anything with that fragrance. I haven't smelled that one, but they are good for just releasing the same Lamar fragrance in a different bottle. But this go around, we should have something different. He had two perfumers work on this one and Cardamon is really something that's strong in this fragrance for what I am hearing. That means it's going to bring a little bit of spice to that original DNA. Something I'm excited to get my nose on and as soon as I grab it I'll either bring you a first impressions on that one or also just dive in and give you a full review so that's one I'm excited about one that I'm looking for during this fall and obviously um, the the original Lamar could work in the fall and winter and with a more amped up uh, parfum version I think that would probably handle some of those concerns that we had about the reformulations and then maybe we'll be able to use it this fall and winter as well. So definitely one that I'm shooting for, Lamar La Parfum.
And then the fifth and final fragrance on this list today, and these fragrances are in no particular order, just five that I'm gonna be super intentional about picking up um, this fall season. And this one here is one that um, I'm really looking to dive into because I've heard so many great things about this fragrance over the years, and I have so many fragrances around this type of note that I think this will be interesting to, to, to really dive into a bit more. A lot of you have hit me up like, yo B, what's your take on this one versus this one? And I have to be honest with you that I don't have a ton of experience with the fragrance that I'm about to mention, but now I need to get it on my collection. And this one comes from MFK or Francis Kirk John. And this one is Oud Satin Mood. Now it's not often that you hear sexy and Oud within the same sentence, except he would have been a lot more sexier if he did not wear oud. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. However, um, oud satin mood is definitely something totally different. Where if you were to Google this or put it into YouTube, you'll hear a lot of ladies talking about how attractive this fragrance is and the compliment factor that you should get along with it. That being said, a lot of ouds come off to be unwearable. They pungent, they sting the nostrils to say the least. But this one um, is is not in that realm so i would definitely be interested in adding this one to the collection i do have a few of his fragrances within my collection and as i continue to build that i would like to add that one as that one has definitely been a standout fragrance and along with that one i would probably add Oud silk mood just because um, i would like to see the difference in between those two or maybe even just his Oud. so we'll dive into all of that stuff as it comes but um definitely a fragrance that i am looking to pick up this fall so those are five fragrances for me now obviously i'm going to pick up a lot of fragrances I think I pick up I don't know anywhere between 10 and 17 or 20 fragrances a month so far um, but those are just five that I'm going to be really intentional on grabbing like hey laser focus actively seeking those out so let me know if you find any good deals and discounts on them I'll be happy to, to hear about them and hopefully uh, you know you have some fragrances you are looking to add this fall as well hit <laughs> your boys all right so there you have it man as always i'm your boy big b beat with the like comment and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again and you already know what i need you to do just hit the goddamn. damn